everybody good morning good morning good morning happy wednesday happy wellness worthy worship wednesday to you all we're going to work i'm so happy to be here in the presence of the lord all the time and god is doing something in your life on today's bible study grab a notebook grab a pen grab a greetings in the name of jesus i just thank you lord jesus for life and thank you lord jesus for seeing another day because with all jesus christ in our life we are nothing right so if you had to grab a coffee grab whatever lime juice or whatever to sit down and relax and watch this video because this video will be a blessing to all your hearts as well you'll get the gist of what god is telling you and we are going into the book of isaiah isaiah 6 1 to 13 and then we are going into the book of matthew 20 i'll be talking about marriages today right kingdom marriages and what is the importance about it and what is the significance behind it because some people just get married for they have different motives and thing right so we are going to go more in depth in what god say this is the holy spirit will be talking today so people hearts and minds will be intact right so without no further ado let us pray right now before i pray grab a notebook grab your bible grab crayon pencil whatever you have and listen if you don't have a bible you can just listen to me on the replay repeat okay I'm looking very wonderful today in my so let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this day father we thank you for every single thing i pray in the name of Jesus all around the world people who are listening to me people who father lord who have you just father lord father lord you open their minds and hearts for the lord to to honor you to magnify your holy name to worship you and praise because you are alone and worthy you are the only god who created and you are god alone and Father Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us into this benevolence, grace, and mercy, Father Lord. So, I'm about to bring your lectures, about to bring, not your lectures, I'm about to bring your word, Father Lord, your scripture word. And Father Lord, be a meat to their lives. And Father Lord, that the Bible study will be, Father Lord, living, they will be living a holy life and well acceptable to you, Father Lord. So, I'm about to leave everything, allow the Holy Spirit to guide and lead in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay? So, let us sing this song. Okay? You're the only God whose power none can compare. You're the only God who's greater than me can compare. You're the only God who's love than me never do. In the hell that just away it is. You are God alone from the full time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone, and right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone, unshakable, unchangeable, unstoppable. That's who you are, unchangeable, unstoppable. Unbraceable, that's who you are. You are God alone. And the full time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good time and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Okay, so God is the only one that is powerful, that is omniscient, that is the redeemer and friend. Okay, so let us go on to chapter 6 in Isaiah chapter 6, 1 to 30. Okay, follow me through in the Amplified Bible, the King James Version. Okay, so let us read. In the year that King Uzziah died, in a vision I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and the skills of his train filled the most holy part of the temple. John twelve forty one. Above him stood the seraphim this the seraphim each had six wings, with two each covered his own face, and with two covered his feet, and with the two he flew, and one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, holy, holy Merciful and mighty God in Jesus, Amen. Come on and let me holy, 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 merciful and mighty God in Jesus. 
sons, blessed Trinity. Okay, so everyone was crying, Holy, Holy Lord, the whole earth is full of His glory, and the foundations of the church shows stood, shook at the voice of him who cried and the house was filled with smoke then said i woe is me for i am undone and ruined because i am a man of unclean unclean lips and dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips for my eyes have seen the king the lord of hosts then flew one of the se the say for him heavenly beings to me having a live a live coal in his hand which he had taken with tongues from off the altar and with it he touched my mouth and said lo this has touched your lips. Your iniquity and guilt are taken away, and your sin is complete. You are two and four and are forgiven. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, here and here, continually, but understand not, and see, and see continually, but do not apprehend with your mind. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. So God was talking to King, so King, Uza was a king, right? He died. He had a vision, right? He saw the Lord sitting upon the high throne, right? The high, and he was seated, right, with his servants, with the angels, right? And he lift, and we must be lifted up, saints of God. We must be lifted up and be encouraged that Jesus Christ is doing something in your life. Jesus Christ is the only way, right? He's the only way to our our life. He's the only way. He is in control right he is above every other name because the name of jesus every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord okay but above him stood so the sephirim had six wings right so this is a holy covenant which two each covered his one face and with two covered his feet so it was like a it was like not a monster but a creature right but this was a holy right a holy the holy spirit was talking through this this um for god to right so king use okay so this was a moment that everyone had to bow down on the knees and pray to the lord jesus christ because they were very very they will have a heavy heart mind right their mind was so heavy right that they didn't believe in jesus christ okay and one cried to another and said holy 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 the lord of hosts so they cry out they bell out right they yell out and they say holy there was in sorrow in pain and grief all these things right but god said be ye holy for i am holy because i am the lord god who can make you he will he could heal his sick he's a way maker right he's a miracle worker right so and the foundations of the threshold shook at the voice so the foundations of the lord right they shook it shake up and the house was filled with smoke and then said woe is me for i am undone and ruined so people were thinking that they were ruined and undone in their hearts right because they they spoke with unclean lips they had unclean spirits in them right but the lord did raise up right but after that the lord did raise up other kings because after king uzziah died he had a vision he was in vision he was dreaming that what god did tell him what did god say so when god gave you dream signs and wonders take it upon it right use that as a catapult for your victory Sometimes God will show you a person. God will show you things in life that you don't understand, but you could just go down on your knees and pray, right? So it says in verse 10 in chapter 6 of Isaiah, right? Make the heart of these people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and turn again and be healed. So God did deliver all these people because the people didn't believe nothing. Their hearts were heavy. They were their ears were heavy, their eyes were shut, they didn't want to see what the truth was, all these things, right? They were rebellious people against the Most High God, right? And then the then said, I, Lord, how long? How long? And he answered, until cities lie waste without inhabitant, and houses without man, and the land is utterly desolate. So God will do all these things according to make your heart clean. You go down by repenting of your sins, by surrendering the life to the lord because the life is coming from the lord right this life what we are living in is all about the lord the breath what we are breathing in the morning when he gets up in the morning is all about god is jesus christ is the one that gave us this breath not to use for vanity but to use for his spiritual spirituality okay 
and the Lord removes his people far away and the forsaken places are many. So God removes, removes people from your life who are not a part of your journey, right? God will remove people from your life and they're not a part of your journey because he wants you to live a greater, blessed and abundant life in him, okay? So saints of God, I hope you're taking on notes. I hope you're understanding the story of what King Uzziah had a dream, all these things. So this was this was really God's plan, okay? And not man's plan. And in the last, those in the back in the front the side, the last verse, and though a tenth of the people remain in it, it will be for their destruction, eaten up and burned like a terrible tree or like an oak, whose stump and substance remain when they are felled or have cast their leaves, the holy seed. The elect remnant is stump and substance of Israel. So God is saying we are remnants, we are kingdom leaders, we are ambassadors in the body of Christ. We have to stand for what is right. We have to stand on solid ground with the Lord Jesus Christ and never never lose his sight. Never take God for granted, but always pray, always consecrate, always submit ourselves and listen to the voice of the Lord. Because when God is talking, God will talk through dreams, God will give you signs and wonders, and he will also show you a way, a strategy, a tool, every single thing. So take this into consideration daily, right? Says of God, do not listen to the voice of the enemy. Do not listen to the distractions and all these terrible things, right? Listen to what God has for you. When God say he will do, his promises are very sure. It might take a little process. It might take a little delay. But always remember God's promises is sure and true. Okay? So I hope this short scriptural verse this scriptural powerful will be a blessing to our hearts. But let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this nice, sweet and and song, Father Lord, song doctrine, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, it will be a blessing to us that they, they will follow, Father Lord, this King Uzziah who died, Father Lord, that this example, Father Lord, they will follow. And they will not be they will not be lovers of this world, Father Lord. They will understand that they are different in the body of Christ. They will be soldiers, warriors, kings, and queens in the body of Christ by only focusing on you alone and listening to you alone, Father Lord. And so about to bring your Bible study, I pray it will be a blessing to the hearts that, Father Lord, they will be deeper and more in the word of the Lord and praise and worship, Father Lord, for every single thing is under you, Father Lord. And every single thing, Father Lord, we are going to be grateful and thankful for what we have, Father Lord, because we are soldiers and warriors and kingdom ambassadors and leaders in the body of Christ. So about to bring father lord the word father lord is your holy spirit father lord, lead and direct them father lord in all truth father lord that father lord they will repent they will know father lord that they will have a joy a peace and all of us pastor all understanding father lord so I'm about to bring them to care in the name of jesus christ the lord amen so i hope this short scripture will be a blessing to us but now we are going on to matthew chapter 22 right we'll be talking about kingdom marriages today kingdom spouses how to deal up with these things because there are plenty of people who are getting married for the wrong reasons right so is either the foundation it must have a foundation a solid foundation solid structure anybody at christ when it comes to marriages right because the bible talk about marriage is honorable and all on the bed on the fat and god is ready all the churches all the people want to it have all type of marriages nowadays that is not of God and people in the body of Christ are getting mingled up and tied up with this whole thing so I want to just smooth it out for you right saints of God and people are the most high God and children of God and soldiers and kings and queens okay Matthew 22 will be a story but this story you could take it out and use it in your daily and holy life and walk with the Lord okay so Matthew chapter 22 this video will not be long though today, okay? It will be short and sweet, and the word will pass across continually, okay? For you to understand that Jesus Christ, no matter what you're going through, you can call upon Jesus Christ. No matter what problems you're going through, you can call upon him. Because when you call upon Jesus Christ, you are a changed individual. When you seek him daily, you are a changed individual. You are not the same person anymore, okay? So, Matthew chapter 22 1 to 46 right 
and then we are going on to the bible summary today too okay so this is talking about marriage of the king's son right the parable of the vineyard too also right but this is the rest the marriage of the king's son what 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 did happen what did take place all these things right and jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son so the kingdom of heaven so this is more corresponding right to his kingdom his kingdom is not like this world right his kingdom is not of this world his kingdom is compared for somebody so this is for people right when the body of christ need to understand that marriage is consecrated marriage is sacred right when god is in it when god is not in it well don't waste your time right learn to repent of your sins and surrender and allow jesus christ beautiful ashes right so and jesus answered and spake so jesus was speaking in parables to disciples to the people who didn't really understand him right and giving examples and drawing drawing points right that people will be able to understand where he was coming from right so the kingdom of heaven so my kingdom of heaven where i sit where i seated at the right throne of the most high the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king so it wasn't saying everybody is king or everybody is queen queen sorry right it was talking to a certain person because many are called and few are chosen okay anybody at christ and send forth for forty servants to call them right that were hidden to the wedding and they would not come so it had a certain king right who had okay a certain king was made a certain son was a fit for being king right but he sent off he sent forty servants to call them that were hidden right to the wedding and they would not come so they would not come right so they were like in secret and they're not coming because it was hidden it was forbidden okay and again he sent forth other servants so he so after these servants the first servants he sent and they didn't do anything the second one they sent again i sent a batch of people then right behold i have prepared my dinner my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready come on to the marriage so this this certain king right was ruling right that's just how god is going to position you and put you in places that you never dreamed of and god will position you for greatness and preparation and elevation and acceleration right this king this certain king what god chose right the king's son right because the king was so confused that his father the king was so confused that he he don't understand why god chose his son for being king okay and it was upon his son so they prepared dinner they prepared oxen and and fatlings and the fatlings were killed right to cook and all these things but they made light verse 5 they made light of it and went their ways one to his farm another to his merchandise so they went they made light of it right they made use of it right and they went their separate ways right but one to the farm right so one had a farm and the other was a merchandise they were selling merchandise things and stuff right they had a little jobs and stuff fought and the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully right so that is ill-treated and treated mean ill-treated them so they didn't get treated good at all right but when the king heard about the all these things what what they did right he was very very disappointed and he sent for the army so rot mean w-r-o-t-h mean disappointment right unwilling to com compromise all these things right but when the king heard right when the king heard thereof he was wrought he was angry and he sent forth his armies so he sent for these people right he sold their armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city so he was so so pissed off and vexed that he sent forth his whole soldiers to destroy the city right that was built up 
for nothing and people were skylocking for all the, those who murdered people those who did all these wrong right and then said he to his servants the wedding is ready but they which were bidden were not worthy so that means many are called and few are chosen so when god chose you for not everybody right many are called so many are called mean plenty of people are called but few are chosen so god is going to cho choose people in your life right you are chose you are chosen by the most high god so you are chosen to reign with jesus christ forevermore in his kingdom because his kingdom is not like this world right and that is what god this is the parable right this is compared the marriage of the king's son is compared to the kingdom of heaven right when you are one in the body of christ when you have jesus christ in your life the father son and whole spirit is trinity and trinity means one right is three people in one so just as how we have body soul and spirit right the body will go back to the ground the soul and spirit is going back to either heaven for judgment or hell right according but god is saying to us that we ought to put on the armor we ought to be faithful to one another we ought to know that jesus christ is the orchestrator of marriage and and nowadays the reason why marriages cannot hold together right and hold in unity and sacred is because they don't have god in it right everybody wayward everybody doing what they want when you're married they could go with this one go with that one mix up yourself in the world no that is not that is not that is not very that's not healthy at all that's unclean right that is abomination god will judge you for that god will punish you for that but when you have the holy spirit when you have god in it everything is fixed right everything this is a beautiful story so god is writing your story for his glory okay so receive that and see what god is doing god is god has things surprises behind the scenes and things but God said, praise and worship me, honor me with all your heart and respect me. And I will give you desires of your heart. Saints of God. Okay. So coming back to this interesting message, right? Story is that then say it to his servants, the wedding is ready. But they which were bidden were not worthy. So they which were forfeited, right? Were not worthy. So they cannot come to the wedding because they were disqualified. Right? Because of their insert in their unfaithfulness, all these things. Right? Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So you could go forth. So this is invitations. Right? This is giving out invitations to the wedding. Right? Inviting your family, your friends, whoever and thing. It was go ye therefore, right? To the highways and bios and let people know that there's a marriage in the city. So those servants went out in the highway. So the servants carried out their assignment and they gathered all together as many as they found both bad and good right and the wedding was furnished with guests so this is coming down to psalms 23 right that god will prepare a table right in the presence of your enemies and he will anoint you and he will overflow you with blessings mercies and favors because when you have jesus christ you are a changed person you are a changed individual right so this is was bringing, bringing your, bringing every single, every single thing upon the altar and giving it him, and he will give you beauty for ashes. That is what God is saying, right? Do not go by nobody else, but come to God, run to me, and I will make you, I will make you whole again, right? And when the king, so they have all this, so the, so the servants went went out on a mission they went out they went with the invitations and they gave everyone and they gathered all good and bad and the wedding was furnished so the wedding was very secure with guests so guests there's plenty guests right it was it was a big big wedding though and the, when the king came in to see the guests he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment so when he when he came to greet everybody the king came to greet everybody He's talked to them. He say, "Welcome to to the wedding, you know, of my son, 
and I'm so happy to see you in the presence of the Lord and he really had a conversation with the guests that he invited which is family he consists of family friends co-workers whatever right and he was making his point because no and then he saw a man that is undressed and not wearing a wedding garment because he gets invited and he just do he very he not taking it on and he said unto him friend friend how come is thou in hidden not having a wedding garment so you want to know why it is so everybody else having a wedding garment they having their gongs or whatever they're wearing right the tuxedo or whatever right they having but as this man not wearing nothing now this man just wearing a casual top and pants a shirt and pants you know or woman a dress a casual dress because you want to know how odd it is now how how well people wearing wearing garment and this one not wearing right so the king must ask the question friend how came as thou in hither not having a wedding garment and he was speechless so he was speechless because he didn't he didn't really think that the king will ask him that question he was curious then right then said the king verse 13 to the servants bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into utter darkness so the king didn't really think about it now right he think a set of evil things with the fella so he want to throw the sword so he telling the servants bind him so bind him mean bound him right tie a rope on his hands right in the back and foot and take him away and cast him into utter darkness i mean cast him into the ditch right the pit the bottomless pit okay and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth so it will have weeping sorrow for many are called but few are chosen you see what Joseph was saying for many are called with the holy spirit give me that for many are called and few are chosen so that is the parable of the marriage of the king's son this is like the kingdom of heaven is compared to this this is just a parable but is in real life we need to understand that not everybody could go where you're going not everybody assigned to you is from god right be careful the enemy will send people in your life and his assignments do we have right so be aware be vigilant be watchful be cautious put on the full armor the lord pray intercede with the lord jesus christ okay or repent so verse 14 say for many are called but few are chosen right and then when the pharisees and took counsel so then when the pharisees so the pharisees and they took counsel on how they might entangle him in his talk right so they want to entangle they want to get him now at a point to talk the truth right and they sent out unto him other disciples with the herons saying master we know that thou art true and teach us the way of god in truth neither carest thou for any man for thou regardest not a person of men right so god was talking in his truth right so we so we ought to talk our truth and don't be lying right because god said be sin be, be sure your sin will find out okay so we'll send him say tell us therefore what thinkest thou is it lawful to give tribute unto caesar or not but jesus perceived their wickedness and said why tempt ye me ye hypocrites right so jesus say why it is all you must perceive me with all your wickedness all your doubts all your confusion all these things right i am the lord god why tempt me right why tempt me what i do you all i just did i just gave all your all your all your furnishings every single thing and all your treating me like a treating me like a dog or treating me like something i don't like that i will destroy i will rebuild i will restore but do not be treating me like that because i created you i am the giver and taker of life okay so that what jesus was say why tempt me you hypocrites right a hypocrite is someone who is very false okay they pretend to be someone that they are not right show me the tribute money and they brought unto him a penny and he said unto them whose is the image and super scripture 
And they said unto him, Caesar's. Then said he unto him, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God. So Caesar, which is of Caesar, that's Caesar. But God is different. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done great things for me. So you have to render unto Jesus Christ. And he is going to do great things in your life. Extraordinary things that man cannot do. Right? Do not listen to the voice of the enemy or distractions of people. Listen to the voice of the Lord, saints of God. Do not get twisted or tied up in the body of Christ. Because God is talking to you. Each and every one of us, God is talking to you. Right? God wants to give you this assignment. God wants to bless you. God wants to nurture you. God wants to help you. But the only way to get access to all these benefits and all these blessings is by seeking Jesus Christ, is by worshiping him, is by praying and understanding him and caring about him. That's just how we can care for your family and friends. You can care for Jesus Christ too. Because he's the one that wakes you up in the morning. He's the one that making you walk and talking and all these things. God is the one. and God is the one. He's the benevolent God. He's the Redeemer. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Nisi. He's Jehovah Gerard. He's Jehovah. Right? He's the Lion tribe of Judah. Okay? That roaring in our lives. So verse 22 said, When they had heard these words, they marveled. So when they heard these words, it was a so shocking surprise. They marveled. They got silent and left him and went their way. So they went their way. So all this all this mob, all this quarreling, all the arguments, all the things had to stop. Right? Because when Jesus Christ talk, right, they had to listen. Right? When man talk, it's all kind of babbling, all these things. But when God's, with the power of God's words was so powerful that they had to listen, they had to stop what they're doing and listen and understand and it was so marvelous it was so great right so the same day came to him right and the sadducees and which days that there is no resurrection so they didn't have no resurrection that day and asked him saying master moses said if a man die so moses said if a man die having no children so if it is a man pass away and he have no children whatsoever right He's a widow or whatever, right? And he or she is a widow. And his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren. And the first, when he had married a wife, deceased and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. So this is a situation whereby they have they having no issue. Right? They have no, they just love that lifestyle of living. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. So the woman passed away. Right? So therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall be of the seven? For they all had her. So they all had, had her. So it was with the brother first. Then it was with the cousin. Then it was with everybody else. So that same woman was with everybody. Right? So what what it, what shall profit a man, right? So therefore, any reason whose wife whose wife shall shall she be the same? For they all have Jesus answered and said. So Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures and know the power of God. So ye do not take heed, right? What the scriptures have to say, what the what God have to say, what I have to say, right? O oh, ye, O oh, ye hypocrites, O oh, ye people little of faith. That's what God was talking to them because they're thinking that they have this carnal minded. They are carnal minded. They are talking about former things. Right? They are not talking about spiritually. They don't have no spiritual in them. They need to have the Holy Spirit. Right? When the Holy Spirit is in you, the Holy Spirit does give you unctions and talk through you. Right? To give the people the correct things. But when you don't have the Holy Spirit is none of God, right? It's an enmity, right? An enmity is an enemy, right? Against God, okay? So, verse 30 say, For in the resurrection they marry. They neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are the angels of God in heaven. So they neither marry. So in the last days, it will have children, go mar it will have children, young children going to be getting married and all these things. That is in the last days. We are living in the last days. Just as how in the day of Lot was, so shall it 
B, right? So God is saying, but as touching the resurrection of the dead, have we not read that which was spoken unto you by God? So what did God say? God was telling the people and them, here's what's going on. Neither you live or die, you're still mine, okay? I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. I am the God of Jacob. I am the God who healer. I'm the way maker. I'm the truthful priest. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Okay? So he is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. So when these people and them, the multitude that didn't believe in Jesus Christ, they did not believe in Jesus Christ, but when, when Jesus Christ speak to them, they had an understanding, had a fresh anointing upon their lives. They had a fresh wisdom, the words of wisdom, right? Because when God speak, everything has to scatter. Every conversation has to stop, right? Every vanity, all these things have to stop, right? Because he has the command, right? You know, that is why the reason why God gave us the authority. He gave us the power. He gave us the wisdom. He gave us the understanding to use correctly and wisely in him. So we can therefore take it out into the world and tell people about Jesus Christ and evangelize to them and let them know that they are not alone, right? So whatever sickness, whatever pain, whatever struggles you're going through, you call upon Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will heal you. He's the deliverer. He's every single thing to you, okay? So verse 33 says, And when he mocked you to heard this, they were, so they were astonished. They were shocking right at his doctrine at the truth right but when the pharisees had heard that they put the sadducees into silence and they were gathered so they didn't they didn't really they didn't it wasn't looking good at all they didn't want to hear what jesus had to say right that is why they was keep their mouth shut right and then one of them which was a lawyer asked him a question turned to them and said master which is the great commandment in the law so they wanted to test jesus christ Right, what Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord. It is written, Thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. Right, this is the first and great command. So, Thou shalt love the Lord. So, God never say about do not love, right? God's love is very unconditional and overflowing like milk and honey. So, that is the reason why we ought to love. Despite people don't like to love, you have to love, you have to have compassion. You must have the gist of the Holy Spirit in you, right? Because when the Holy Spirit enter you, you are a change and new person, right? When the Holy Spirit is not there, the enemy will try to come in and use you, right? For different purposes. But when God is in you, you are whole again. You have no sickness. You will, yes, you will have trials and tribulations, but at the end of the day, the righteousness availeth much. So saints of God, wake up, understand that God is talking to you. God's calling is upon your life. It will be a different assignment. It will be a different blessing, every single thing. But all is well. All is well that ends well. Okay? So in verse... This is very interesting. An interesting, interesting parable. And I maybe read it already, but I'm reading it again. I want people to get the gist. Right? So it say, so this is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor thyself. So this is the second commandment. So the first commandment was, thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart, all thy soul, and all thy mind. And this is the second commandment God is saying, right, love your neighbor as yourself. So whatever despite your neighbor hate you, or whatever they are doing, still love them. Still have compassion, because Christ is love. God's love is unconditional. God's love is different from this world's love. Okay? So it says, On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So hang all the law. So these two commandments, right? Use it in your daily lives. Right? Use all the commandments. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not worship false graven images. That is in the old days of Moses. And they had the two tablets and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit entered in him and God was talking, God was speaking through the consuming fire, right? 
verse 42 saying what okay so verse 41 while the pharisees were gathered together jesus asked them so they were all gathered together now to hear what jesus have to say and saying what think ye of christ whose son is he they say unto him the son of david so it was the son of David. he said unto them how then doth david in spirit call him lord said the lord said unto my lord sit thou on my right hand till i make thy enemies thy footstool so god is going to make the enemies the enemies of the giants of today your footstool because god said he will prepare a place for you in the presence of your enemies okay so do not get it so kingdom people in the body of christ wait until god send you the right person do not rush it right by the meantime allow god to talk to you and give you unctions right allow god to prepare you allow god to mold you allow god because things just take time in life preparation does not come by guess preparation comes by obeying the lord right open them open doors sorry make a mistake open doors comes by preparing to meet jesus christ that jesus christ prepare your cleanse your wash your clean love yourself more have yourself looking good and god will send you the right people do not rush into this world this world does lie to you do not rush into the enemy's ways because the enemy is a liar okay learn to wait learn to have patience and wait until it's your turn right and god will give you the assignment god will give you every single thing okay now it says verse 45 if david then call him lord how is he his son so if david called them lord how is the man's son how is him my son father the son and the holy spirit god sent down his son not to condemn the world that through him through him might be saved so we might be saved god never condemned the world god just don't like things that he hates right he doesn't like abomination all these single things right god say love not the world that neither the things that are in the world because i vanity that like the materialistic world is all these things so we're not supposed to put that first we're supposed to put god first in all things right and no man was able to answer him so no man was able to answer because they were silent and quiet they then had nothing they was eating up their words neither does any man from that day forth ask him any more questions so they were so they it full stop right there right they didn't have no choice but to listen to what god said because they were mumbling they were babbling they were grumbling they were murmuring and complaining and fighting against one another and all these things and god had to shut them out okay because he has the power to do that so i hope this bible study in this message right christ reprove it this is calling for marriages god is raising up kingdom spouses marriages in this season take it and receive it and just watch god work in your life okay so let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this sh short bible study word father thank you lord for this powerful story of the married son father and in your parable i pray father lord, the parables will be enabling them to understand that they will use the tools and strategies what god give them and not listen to the voices of the world i pray father lord yes that father lord you touch each and every one individual hearts for the lord that follow and know for the lord that jesus is the only way the only way to help them in their lives for the lord that not for the lord nobody else lies but for the lord you will give them the countenance for the lord you will give them the gist of whatever for the lord they want from you for the lord and the only way to know jesus christ is by seeking and accepting him as lord and savior and for the lord that you come into their hearts and minds and clean and wash them away from all unrighteousness and all sins that were built in for the lord and generation generational generational curses shall be broken all curses shall be broken that father will be free from whatever captivity they were in father lord, in time past so as i'm about to bring your bible summary i pray father lord you bless their hearts allow this video father lord, to uplift and inspire and motivate people lives all across and globally international in caribbean america in the name of jesus christ the lord amen so i hope this 
this video was a blessing but now we are going on to the bible summary today right so taken from matthew So the Gospel of Matthew, right? Matthew is the introduction. So this is the parables. So this is parables found only in Matthew, chapter 30, the tears. So God is separating you from the wheat to the tears, right? Verse 24, the hid treasure. Verse 44, the goodly pearl. Verse 45, the draw net. Verse 47, chapter 18, the unmerciful servant. Verse 23, chapter 20, the laborers in the vineyard. Verses 1 to 10, chapter 21, the two subs. Verses 28 to 22, chapter 22, the marriage of the king's sons. Verses 1 to 14, chapter 25, the ten virgins. Verses 1 to 30, the talents. Verses 14 to 30, and the sheep and the goats. Verses 31 to 46, the analysts analysis is from the standpoint of the kingship of christ so this is all about the verses that i have read right in my bible study and in general and i hope you all understand what's going on because god is doing something new in your life today right the sheep and the goats verses 31 to 36 so the king's story the story of the kingly messiah Lineage and birth, chapter one, search for chapter two, and adoration of chapter twenty of chapter two, eleven, herald of chapter three, one to twelve, spirit, unusual victory. This is all about God's kingdom, God's will, because when you have Jesus Christ in your life, you are different individual. Okay, so I hope this summary of the Gospel of Matthew will be enabling. Or let to understand why Jesus Christ wants to serve him in spirit and in truth. Do not serve Facebook. Facebook, right? I just want to make it clear right now, okay? Facebook, I want to just under, explain to you that I do not have to have no friends on my Facebook page. You know why? Because Jesus Christ is my friend. So Facebook... What you are sending me, friend suggestions, need to stop it in the name of Jesus. Because I doesn't do people wickedness, right? I just teach people about the Lord. Facebook team needs Jesus. They have demonized spirits and monitoring spirits on Facebook. So if it is you want to deactivate your account from Facebook, you can do that. So nobody won't have to bother me, right? And that's what I'm going to do, right? And if the Holy Spirit tell me to do it, I will do it. Because I doesn't do nobody anything. Everybody does do me things. But they need to stop doing me things because why? Jesus Christ is going to punish you all for what all you did. Because the wicked shall perish. All demonic spirits. All demon spirits of Baal. All demonic spirits of the Illuminati. All demonic spirits. Right? All unclean spirits that is coming against me on social media sites shall be damned and doomed and destroyed by the blood of jesus the power of jesus is the only way to my life right so i just want to shout out to mr justin rifika douglas and my children i love you all with the love of jesus i always pray for you all but let us pray Heavenly Father, just thank you for this nice video. I pray for our Lord Jesus, it will be empowering and impact. I pray that all social media sites will come down on their knees and bow down before Jesus Christ. And not bow down before the Illuminati, not bow down before no other false God. I pray, Father Lord Jesus, that Father Lord, you just shake and move, Father Lord, shake and leave them, Father Lord. That Father Lord, um, Father Lord, just let them cry out, Father Lord, to you, Father Lord. I pray that Facebook itself, Father Lord. Facebook team follow understand me follow where I'm coming from that Jesus is my friend I don't need no friends. I don't need no, no demonized friends to be my friends. 
I want friends who could uplift me and inspire me too, just as how I could uplift them, Father Lord. So, Father Lord, I pray, Father Lord, Jesus, that every single thing will stop right now. All you two people, all people who are coming against me for no reason, Father Lord, I pray, Father Lord, every single thing shall be stopped and be broken right now by the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, you have power, Father Lord. I call upon Gabriel and Michael to destroy the wicked altars in America and Caribbean and all around the world, Father Lord. That, Father Lord, people will know that your power is significant. The sword of the spirit, Father Lord. I command all evil spirits in Facebook team and YouTube team and Instagram team shall be bound and bind in the name of Jesus, Father Lord. That, Father Lord, they shall be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. That, Father Lord, they will understand to repent of their sins before it's too late. And, Father Lord Jesus, I command every single thing. I renounce all unclean spirits, demons of Baal from Egypt to come out, Father Lord, right now from people. Break every generational curse from their life in the name of Jesus. So, Father Lord, as I'm about to leave, I pray that this video be an impact in people's hearts and minds. That, Father Lord, they know, Father Lord, they'll focus on you and understand that Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. So in the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord, amen. So this is the end of the video, right? It was very short and sweet today, but God is doing something in your life. If it could just receive it and believe it, understand it, I'm praying for you all. I'm praying for everyone. I'm praying for the social media sites too. I'm praying. I just always pray for them that they will come to know that they repent of the sins. And I pray for my children and I pray for my kids and my family in the body of Christ that my family will grow strong in the name of Jesus. Okay? So I hope you all have a blessed Wednesday and focus on the Lord and pray and seek Him daily because with all Jesus Christ in our lives, we are nothing. We are living in a world that people, will, that social media, it have the agenda 2.0. Right, they are using the system is using it have one time spirits, it have all kind of demonized spirits that using in people's bodies. I pray that these people will be delivered from Jesus Christ, that delivered from that Jesus Christ will be delivered them out of evil, out of witchcraft, out of rituals, black magic, all these things, that they will be delivered out of what the enemy lied to them. And all these things that they will be able to be washed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ created man. Right? Jesus Christ breathed into man and man became a living soul. All these false gods, all the false images that you're seeing on Instagram, that you're seeing on Facebook, that you're seeing on YouTube, all these people and them are false masks. They are wearing false masks and you have to be aware who's your friend from not who's your friend. Let allow the Holy Spirit to show you who's your friend because not everybody on Facebook is your friend. It have demonized spirits that are signed by the enemy to monitor your life. So be aware, only pray, worship, and honor the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so love you all with the love of Jesus and I'll see you all tomorrow. Please, the Lord. Okay. So I'm looking wonderful today. Love you all and bye-bye.